break my camera. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know who I am, hello, I'm Sassy. Today, as you guys read from the title of this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a crystal collection kind of tour. I plan on doing these at the end of each year. Also, quick thing, I am in, I'm currently in a gymnastics leotard because I just had gymnastics and I need to film this video because it was supposed to be filmed yesterday. It's currently Thursday, I was supposed to film it on Wednesday, but I had to, I had to study. Um, and I finally finished studying, so, yeah. That's why I look like this. Also, ignore my laundry in the background. So, I recently started a crystal collection back in May this year. Um, so, I decided I'm going to show you guys everything that I've collected throughout the whole year. I really started getting more into crystals back in July, and I've collected so many since then. I just want to give you guys a haul of all of my crystals. Not really a haul, more of a tour um, of all of my crystals and how I use some of my favorites. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so we're going to start with all of my raw pieces. I don't have a whole lot of raw pieces. The first raw piece I have is a raw rose quartz. I love this. It is so pretty and it was a freebie from my crystal store because I go there so often and they gave me a complimentary raw rose quartz. I think it is beautiful. I don't use this rose quartz and bring it with me places. It just stays at my house. So yeah. The next raw piece I have is this beautiful raw citrine. This is my prettiest piece I have. Ignore my nails, they're kind of crusty. But this is probably my favorite crystal I, I own. Citrine is probably my favorite crystal. Citrine and rose quartz are my favorite. So again, I don't really bring this raw citrine anywhere. It stays in my room, but it is my favorite piece because it is so pretty. I have a satin spar of selenite this was my first selenite i have three this is my first selenite it's really pretty yeah again i don't really bring selenite anywhere either so that brings us to the end of all of my raw pieces i only have three the rest are tumbles or jewelry or stuff like that we're going to be moving on to my tumbles the first tumble i have is howlite. I love howlite. I definitely use this a lot. I bring it to school often. It really helps with patience. Yeah, I definitely need a lot of that because my patience runs out pretty quickly. Next one I have is carnelian. I don't use carnelian super often, but it's really pretty and it's a really good stone for courage and confidence. This, I'm not exactly sure what stone it is. I got it in a crystal store, like, it was like a spiritual store almost. And I got this. I'm. It could be a moonstone. I could be wrong. Um, but it is a worry stone. And it has the indent for your thumb or finger or whatever. So if you do know what this is, please let me know in the comments down below because I really want to know. The next symbol I have is Green Adventuring. I don't use green adventuring often. It's a if I use it, it's rare. But yeah, really pretty stone. It was also one of my first crystals. I got it my second trip to the crystal store. Next we have opalite. Opalite is probably my second prettiest stone. I love it. I bring opalite to gymnastics a lot because it can help with feeling sick. Um, and it could help like you feel better when you are sick. Um, I also bring it to school sometimes if I have a stomach ache or headache or something like that. Next one, we have smoky quartz. I only have one smoky quartz and I really want to get a second one because I've had this one since May and I really want to get a new smoky quartz. But it's really pretty. I don't use it often, but I do bring it to school sometimes okay the next two stones i have because i have two of these are amethyst so i have two amethyst plus a different type of amethyst which you will see later in the video but i have two i use amethyst all the time it really helps with my like with anxiety and stress 
It really helps with anxiety and stress. I got this piece for my birthday. You guys saw it in my birthday video. If you did not watch that, you should really go watch it. It was a really fun video to film and edit. So those are my two amethysts. I definitely use these pretty often. I bring my little amethyst to school a lot. The second one we have, we have a double again, is Dalmatian Jasper. The only reason I have a double is because um, the my first one, which was this one, I decided to get a huge Dalmatian Jasper, and it didn't really fit in my little uh, um, in my little bag that I bring places. I carry crystals, so I got this little one. But like the size difference, like you can tell, this one's a lot bigger um, than this one, and it's this one's easier to carry around if I need to. By the way, this is the bag I bring if I bring my crystals. And it was, it's just easier if I bring a smaller stone than bigger stone. The next one, we have another double. Tiger's Eye. I love Tiger's Eye. I bring tig this Tiger's Eye to school almost every day. I have two of these. Again, a big and a small. The size difference is crazy. I have a little cube here. And I have this big chunk. It is so pretty. It's way prettier in real life. The next crystal is another double. I have one more double after this one. Clear quartz! So, I actually technically have three clear quartz, but the other clear quartz I have is in here. It is broken. It broke, collected too much negative energy, and it broke. And I'm really upset because... That was literally my first crystal, like one of the first crystals I ever got. This one was just super pretty. It's really clear and it's kind of hard to show on camera because it's so clear. And then we have this one, which is also really pretty. I probably bring this one to school more often. Clear quartz also really helps with studying and remembering information. So I really like to use clear quartz during tests. I lied. I actually have two more doubles. The next double, you could probably guess, Rose Quartz. As I said, Rose Quartz is one of my favorite crystals. I have one, two, three, four different types of Rose Quartz. You guys will see the fourth one after. But again, this was my first crystal ever. This was my first ever crystal. It's huge. One of my biggest crystals. Actually, no, I lied. One of my heaviest crystals. And I had to get a smaller one so I can bring it places like this. This size difference is pretty, pretty immaculate, dude. I had to get a smaller rose quartz so I could bring it places because if you felt this, it is actually really heavy. Like, I would say it's a good, like, half a pound, maybe. Okay, we have one more double, and then we have no more doubles. We have pyrite. These are my smallest crystals. I got two because they are so small and the lady in the crystal store gave them to me for free. I was so happy. Like look how pretty that is. It's really pretty. Okay. We have we have four, five more tumble, tumble stones which I'm going to go quick with. Citrine. As I said, I love citrine. Malachite. I love malachite too. It's really good for money. Fluorite. I have a rainbow fluorite here. Black obsidian. And the last tumble we have is moss agate. This is the newest stone I added to my collection. It is really pretty. I have not done a lot of research on it, which I have, so I have not used it a lot. The next crystal we have is a selenite sphere. It is so pretty obsessed. This is the only sphere I own. And then we own a Howlite Tower. I have, anytime I went in the crystal store before I got this, it called my name. Like It, it was like, you need to get me. And I just ignored it. And I finally got it. And I just like, love it. It's really pretty and it's really helpful for patients. My biggest crystal is this selenite charging plate. I, have, I use this all the time. I have crystals on it at all times. One of my favorites. And then I have two in a bottle. I have quartz and amethyst. Moving on to jewelry. We're also going really fast because my camera's dying and I need to finish this. Jewelry, we have a citrine ring. Literally wear this every single day. If you go to my school or you know me in real life, I wear this every single day. 
And I have three bracelets. Fluorite. Wear, I wear that one a lot. Rose quartz, my first jewelry. As I said, this was my fourth rose quartz. And then carnelian. I wear this one a lot too. Okay, so as you can tell, I changed because my camera battery decided to die on me. So I did not get to do the outro over there. Well, I was still in my Leo. So I showered and got ready for bed while I waited for my camera battery to charge a little bit. But that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you all enjoyed kind of learning about some of my crystals and what my favorites are. I love you all so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I post a new YouTube video. Follow my socials, my TikTok and my Spotify, link in description. And I will be back on Sunday with another day of Vlogmas my way. Bye!